Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The graph shows the variation of electric field strength E with a distance R from a point charge. You know, the shaded area X is the area under the graph between two separations R1 and R2 from the charge. What is X? So my dear students, point to be noted here is that this graph is positive and E is the electric field strength. There is, they're not talking about forces, they're talking about electric field strength and it is positive. It only means that there is to be a positive source charge. See in electrostatic, one thing is very clear. Positive charge will create positive electric field as well as positive potential around it. Negative charge will create negative forces. It will create negative electric field and it will create negative potential. Okay, so the graph shows positive electric field strength. So it means we are talking about the positive source charge, first of all. So this is the positive source charge and it has created an electric field around it, which is positive. So at any point R, which is R distance away, definitely the electric field is pointing away from the charge. It is pointing away from the charge. So the electric force will be away from the charge. So now what is this? It is moving from R1 to R2. So the first option number one is the electric field average between R1 and R2. No, this is not an average. Electric potential difference between R1 and R2. Work done in moving a charge from R1 to R2. Yes, so see, the force will be there. If I say that there is a charge Q and the force will be applied QE, definitely it is moving from R1 to R2. And this option is correct. The work done in moving a charge from R1 to R2 will be this. But the problem is, this graph talks about E. It is not talking about F. Number two, this charge Q is not given to us in the question. They are only talking about electric field. So Q is not present there. So there is no question of F. So if there is no question of F, there is no question of work. Okay. So what are we looking at now? So we know that there is this formula. E is equal to minus dV by dR. From here, I can say dV is equal to minus of E dot dr. So what is E dot dr? E dot dr is basically the area, this. This is the area under the graph, E dot dr. So we are looking at the potential difference. So it can be written as delta V is equal to negative of E into delta R. So this would be kind of... Uh, you can call it like average also like it would be it becomes a question of calculus to find the area like when we write in the terms of d calculus is not in your syllabus for physics so fine you will not be doing this thing but when we basically integrate it you find the area under the curve so the area under the curve is actually equal to the potential difference which is v2 minus v1 simple and the body is definitely moving from r1 to r2 so the answer will be B, the electric potential difference between R1 and R2. Now that is point B and hence B is the answer. So my dear students, this is really very confusing question. Be very careful when you listen to this video, when you watch this video, please watch this video a couple of times to understand the concepts thoroughly. Okay, so this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.